Okay. I'm making this video. Um, for the ones that um, that thought it was preferable to do what they have done to me. Um, yes, they're holding that space and holding that lesson. Thank you for that lesson and thank you for what you have done. For you have shown me the lesson that you have shown me. But in the same sense, it's, it's not preferable. Um, only in the sense of the, I guess, is there any way of really showcasing that or showing it other than just having it happen? Um, this video is for you guys. For anybody that sees this video and knows who I'm talking about, go ahead and tell them. Thank you for that. I forgive you. And I love you. From the bottom of my heart to the top of my heart. From my high heart to my lowest heart. I love you. Thank you. For allowing me to be able to start the process, the process of simplifying my life. Yes, there might have been something that I wanted preferably. But at the same moment, like I said, thank you. I forgive you. You allowed me to learn something and be able to find this my strength out for myself and make my life simpler it's just it's just it is what it is truthfully what I'm talking about is I lived with somebody and I moved out and just the way, basically, I don't, I, I moved out with less stuff than I had before. <laughs> I moved out. I apologize. I moved out with less stuff than I moved in with. But like I said, it's just all in all process of step by step kind of thing. Because nothing happens overnight and not in the universe. Is, is, there's so many different viewpoints and different perceptions which then level out to different dimensions and all that because everybody is their own universe so what all that roles and all that can be a collective kind of thing or solely your creation that's me um some say it's you can only have co-creation because everything's oneness yes and no no to the level of it being um well, when it's, you're holding this space for everybody else to live through you, to understand it, it's like it goes as, um, there's a woman, a man, and a child. One of those two, the male or the female, lift up the 100-pound weight. That child really can't do that. So through that of either of those two, lifting up that 100 pound weight, that child is able to understand what it means to be able to pick up that weight and get to the treasures underneath. Without them, he would have never done that. So me saying no to the extent of the yes, um, that if you are solely creating something purely new that you're the one giving the basis and all that and the structure and the format and um, the getting the blueprint paper out so others can start building upon it as well you're the one that's holding the space for everybody else to move in and to understand kind of thing um that's what holding the space means actually the whole weight thing but I really don't recall what I was saying before that um give me a moment <laughs> um 
I went to go see what I did have, and it didn't, I mean, just re-record it, or keep recording. Um, so this is like a follow-up video on it. Um, I'm sure I'm going to put it both together, but, because I figured out how to do that. Um, but like I was saying, <sighs> thank you for doing, allowing me that lesson, that showcasing of what, I, how strong and how beautiful I am to be able to, uh, to be able to be accepting enough to say, hey, I can take lemons and make lemonade. I can see the preferable from the unpreferable. Yes, there is the whole, once you create one thing or choose to create some one thing from the neutrality, you create, see the good, you also create the bad because it's a balance. There, it's, you have to have balance. It's, it's also the same stick on opposite ends from that neutral point. Um, so you can flux yourself from the preferable to the unpreferable and vice versa. Even though it's more preferable to, unless you're like, depending on what lesson and what role you're playing is to hold that space for the other one to understand, um, you know, kind of thing. But thank you. And um, I'm going to go running. I'm going to go running tonight. Instead of just saying I'm going to go doing, saying I'm going to do this and what I want to do, I'm going to go do it. I read this quote and it was like, don't characterize, waste your moment, time, by saying what you're going to do, just go and do it. Basically. So, open heart, open mind, open mind heart, because um, that's kind of how it works. Um, you have your, your brain, which assist in perceiving all this, the lower dimensionalism, um, being able to take that of holding a veil so that you can, if you know whom you truly are, which is divine creator essence, or a spark of that, um, you would make different decisions. But because you solely want to base it off of your perception of this, you have a veil. You use your brain in order to manifest what you want as that creator and taking it from that viewpoint of a creator, that multidimensional aspect of you, which is really you, but to bring forth your multidimensionality, um, you have to use your heart. That's truly where it, everything comes from. It's the doorway to your soul. It's what houses your soul. Um, it, that's actually the first thing that comes into being before when you get here to bring forth your being is your heart. Um, it's also actually the last part of you that dies or allows the link to be fully severed from this body, this vessel that propels you of your motion through this. Um, you have to combine your mind to your heart. So bringing forth to your voice um, and then coming out. So like it goes, you have a thought and then that's one level of it. You actually take in that thought and focus your energy on that. That's another level of it. That's a deepening of it, increasing of it. Um, once you say it, it's the next level, the next deepening. And then when it actually happens, it's the fullness of that thought process. Because you're very powerful. Since you are that creator essence, everything happens because you're a creator. You only take 
what is um, a, your ability to create and you don't really destroy anything since you are a creator you don't destroy it you take it from the ashes just like the phoenix teaches you that it's reborn from its ashes so you take the ashes and you make it into a beautiful tree <laughs> kind of a thing um but yeah i know that th that also that i'm i talk and that i kind of drift flowingly being in the now um intuitional the speaking that that's how i do it i know others they sit down they might write out what they're going to say and only specifically say that tidbit of information and then have another video of it and have another video of it that might be why i have two videos of the same thing one that's really maybe like a 20 minute video to what a 10 minute or like a five minute segment of that 10 minute video of saying it because it's well it also goes by the energy and the thought processes of um like you're able what doorway you're open to receiving that information from that 20 minute video it might be the introduction of that information to it and then as to restabilize and help re not re but to stabilize that building block that you got from the first video you re assess it and reintegrate it and review it to solidify that thought process because um, every second adds to a minute every minute adds to an hour every hour adds to a day so think how silly you are being when you say oh it's only one moment <laughs> when in truthfulness it adds up it builds up it's intensified just like like think of like on your you, it's your birthday or Christmas um, you have a gift your parents or whomever does it they put the tree in your gifts December 1st and you gotta wait so many days so you see it and that, you know how that they do that and so you know it's there and oh there's so much and maybe you're an only child so all those gifts are yours or whatnot but must be um, but yeah um, oh what I was saying is I don't think I'm ever going to have it like that. I say it in the way I say it because I go with the flow. I allow, basically I'm channeling what the future will be. I'm manifesting what the future will be for somebody else in assisting them building that block because I'm holding the space for them to learn that lesson, that point of view. I'm playing that role for them um, to expand and accept what their strength is or what their strength isn't even though it is and there really really isn't something just like when you you empower something you don't disempower anything you never can disempower anything you can't destroy anything because you're a creator all you do you take from those ashes and you build a planet kind of thing um, didn't really recall this moment what I was saying before the whole creator planet thing um, but basically you yeah um, and that's one reason why if you don't recall something or you like you're talking and then you don't recall what it is and nobody else does it's not meant to be said further than that because possibly in that instance the universe is assisting you with letting you understand that that person you're talking to isn't exactly ready to be hearing that not even the beginning stages of the building block before they're in the process of it you already started that building block but they're not ready to fully accept that building block to add to their wall or the portion of that wall that's going to hold the whole space for that building block um so if it happens it happens but i'm gonna go i'm gonna go running like i said i was gonna do before i started talking and the, but the reason why i made this video the final straw <laughs> as some could say
is I wanted to use these shoes, and I only have one shoe of them. I don't know if I have them in just somewhere, but you could at least took in both of them. How silly. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to run. Okay. Um... May all your heart's desires come true for thee, because you are the bringer of ye. Mm -hmm.